Andres. We're today we're jumping into a new show. This show is called The Crowded Room. We're going to try this show out, guys. Um, for those that are watching this show and also are into my Yellow Jackets uh, shows, we're getting right back. I'm going to start filming that tomorrow. Um, so look out for Yellow Jackets. It's coming right back. I actually was going to film that today, but I passed out. It's my first day off. Um, my birthday is right around the corner. So I was like, let me just sleep. And that's what the holy hell I did. Um, but I want to jump into this show, guys. This is what we call a pilot show for Andres Array. Or a pirate, we'll, we'll call it not a pirate, pirate. We'll call it a pilot um, reaction. How about that? Because if the views are not viewing, the likes are not liking, and the comments are just not commenting, I drop the show like a bad habit. Um, I always, like, I'll start a show, I'll see how uh, the vast majority of the people uh, feel about the episode or the show, and if the vast people, are, vast majority of people are just like, really not into it, then we just will move right along. But somebody did suggest this show, and I do have a, a slate of new shows are going to be dropping on this platform. I'm super excited to be doing just that. Um, but as we do, as we drop new shows, we always will do um, a pilot reaction. So it's up to you guys if we're going to continue on watching this show. Um, it does have Tom Holland, and he is one of my biggest crushes. I have the biggest crush, one of the biggest crush on Tom Holland, like, Ever. I think he's so fine. He's so fine. He's so fine. He broke my mind. Hey, hey, hey. Um, I was gonna rhyme, but I'm kind of tired. But anyways, guys, I'm ready to jump into this. I don't know anything about um this show. I did see pictures of him being hooking up with a guy in the club or something like that. I don't know what. I, I have no idea. I don't know if this is based on a true story. It says drama, crime, biography. But biography part is giving me. Uh, that it's true. Um, so we're gonna see what this is. I also saw comments about this show. Some people really liked it, and then there's some people that, I don't know if they've seen it, but they are like, wannabe, I don't know what they call them, wannabe critics. But they were like, oh, you know, Tom Holland's acting career, he's only uh, done amazing on um, Spider-Man, and everything else he does bombs, and apparently this, uh, on Rotten Tomatoes wasn't high. I mean, I don't know. This person that it just popped up on my feed had a lot of negative to say about the show and then I cut it off because I was like, I knew I, I wanted to try the show and I don't want to have all this like negative impact. I mean, Tom Holland's doing very well um, and he is a very good actor. So I'm not like, I disagree with him on that part. I actually haven't seen much of like of his shows he's done, um, but I just really like him, so, I mean, you can't tell me nothing. Anyways, I'm ready to jump into this show, guys. If you'd like to see this in a full reaction, it will be available for my entire platform here on this platform that will always help copyright my sh as well as my other platform, Patreon. So once again, guys, if you like this full reaction, please join one of those platforms today. Now, let's jump into the Crowded Room and find out exactly what the Crowded Room has got to give. Don't keep looking at it, Jesus. Sorry. Danny, you don't have to do this. You know that, right? We're doing it. What? He's not going to hurt anyone anymore, okay? What just came out? Don't turn around. Frank Sinatra. He's dead. Okay, we'll split up and I'll go around. I'll cut him off and you know what to do. Hey! Stop! Danny, shoot him! Where is Ariana? What did you do? I didn't mean to. She made me do it. She made me. I'm sorry. Take the passports. Take this. Go find your father. Where is Ariana? Ariana. I'm confused. 
kid's just a little good luck shy of a murder charge. Ariana, it's a pretty name. No sign of her either. I'm thinking that he offed her. This is what happens when your partner reads one book on serial killers. There are a number of dispositive factors that I'm not seeing. What about the girl? What about the landlord? Did he tell you what he was doing firing a gun at Rockefeller Center? He says it wouldn't serve. He said it wouldn't huh. serve. Let me take a look. Yeah? Yeah. You ready? <laughs> How are they treating you? It's like everybody else, I guess. I'm just here to talk. About what happened with Ariana, I know. I've seen her since what happened on the street. Well, the police can't find her either. Can you tell me how you ended up living with them in that house? It was a rooming house. I was rooming there. When did you first meet them, Ariana and Yitzhak? Junior year. 1977. Spring. I wasn't a very popular kid at school. Dan! Can you please do something? He lives. Where's this place? A hotel? I'll make you a BLT to take with you. Jesus. I got a hotel and cafeteria. You know, I was thinking, I wish I could sleep until eight. There's one spoiled kid, you know that? How come you and me never spend any time together no more? Hey, look at me when I'm talking to you. Why, you don't like me? Danny, let's go. I can't be late. Get a move on, please. Here you go. Take, take your hand off him. Oh, that's so? Are you gonna make me? You're pitiful. Yeah, well, I'm all invited to that party. Oh, she put up signs. The whole class is invited. <laughs> Don't blow me off. I'm not gonna blow you off. And uh, check your pocket. And is that your car? <laughs> no. Is it Adam? Mm hmm. Who's Adam? Really miss him a lot, huh? You never tell when it's gonna come on, you know? Yeah, it's like that with me and my dad, I guess. It still makes me sad when I think about him. And we weren't just identical on the outside, we were inseparable. That's his brother? Well, no matter the circumstances, I'm really sorry. Loss sucks. I think we should just go home, Johnny. I don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't think. Let's just try around back. Do you see Mike? Uh, nobody said he'd be here. I don't believe what I'm seeing. Danny Sullivan. Hey, Mike. You little sneak. Come along, come along. There are <laughs> libations. My bitch. No, I'm cool. I'm you cool. sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Up. Who, who, who is that? Who is that? That, my friend, is Annabelle Stone. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go talk to her? No, no, no. I don't want to go talk to her. And I know it's going to be. I'm Annabelle. I've been watching your movies. <laughs> You're out here on your own? I like my own company. Do you want to get high? Yeah. You have a joint or something? Annabelle, Annabelle! Whoa. <laughs> Rain check? About time. <laughs> Come on, sit with me. Is someone moving? The I was wondering what you're up to this weekend. I got Charlotte's party. Are you going? I actually got some pot and I thought we could get some beers and just hang out. We we have an ounce, we're selling it. I I actually have three dime bags in my pocket. Bullshit. Well, I just thought that maybe we could hang out under the bridge or something. Um, yeah. <laughs> hey. How you doing? I'm good, how are you? What's so funny? Talking to you. Whoa, Nick. hey, hey, Bill. Bill. Fuck off. Hey. Sorry, Bill. Go fuck yourself. Sorry. I'm going to have the house you'd open your locker. Mr. Solomon. Open your locker, please, right now. I had a report that you have marijuana on school grounds. You can lock it back up now. I was clearly working on bad information. I tell hell about it. Shut up! With me! Get up! Get out! Saw Bill and Eden talking after lunch. I didn't like it. I got a bad feeling. And here is your... Old man's investment. Wait, I how think... the fuck did you get into my locker? I mean, how many times do I have to keep telling you? I'm magic. <laughs> Check your pockets. And he looks a little crazy. I wasn't sure you were actually going to come. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Since you went to all the trouble, I'd hate to be rude. Fuck me! 
<laughs> You're cute, Danny Sullivan. You're cute too. You want to make out? What? Really? Talk to him, please, for me. Okay, what do you want me to say? I don't know. Say just, just say, uh, fuck. Oh, yeah, she told me to tell you that, um, what? Bitch, it. You're gonna have a shot. Well, well. I was actually kind of quiet in this reaction because this is one of those shows where I was thinking and majority of the show, this episode, I really gathered what was going on because it kind of reminds me of, what is that movie called? Glass, right? I think it's Glass. Um, he definitely has split personality disorders. You can see it clear as day. Um, Ariana is probably... Ariana and Yusevix, if that's how you say his name, are probably the more extreme. And then Adam is probably not even his brother. Adam is probably another personality, like a younger personality that he did have, maybe. Or if Adam was an actual person, maybe Adam actually died, and that's probably what triggered him to have these other personalities. Then you have um, this, uh, I don't know, the, bike, the guy who's always doing magic tricks. You have him. And then you have the other one, because it's Mike. All these different personalities, why I gathered is because the drug dealer also said, we. Um, then you have, and he was like, making a joke, we. It's, not, it's only you. Then, um, the way she's trying, like, talking to him throughout this makes you think it. Um, when he was, did the whole shooting situation, the whole scene of the shooting, I felt like, he was having an inner body, inner body out experience where Ariana was taking over his body and what he was doing. I don't know who he was shooting. Was it his stepfather? Um, yeah. Each, it just, it's all, it, it just reminds me like personality disorder. And I don't really know much about this show, so let me just see something because why not just spoil it for myself? Um, I'm kind of curious. No, doesn't tell me anything. But yeah, I definitely think that's what it is. And I don't know why I actually like this episode. This episode, I would give a nine. I think it was very strong. It's building a foundation. Um, maybe it, if it wasn't really talked about, it's not really viewed. It's because it's on Apple TV. And like, honestly, the biggest streaming platforms that you could really watch are Netflix and Hulu when they get on there. And Netflix is like top tier. Um, so I'm thinking maybe that's what's going on. Like, a lot of people didn't really know about it or, like, really didn't dive into it because it's on Apple. Like, there's some other shows I wanted to get into, um, but they're on, like, ne not Netflix. So I feel like a lot of people aren't reacting to it, but I'm kind of curious if I should react to them. Um, I think one is called... I don't know, there's one that deals with, like, space and, like, stuff like that. A foundation, I think it's called. And, like, there's some other ones. Anyways, regardless, this episode was very good. I enjoyed it thoroughly. Um, well, it's a very uh, creepy but interesting show to dive into and break apart these characters. And I think my theory is correct. It's really sad to see him being picked on, too. Um, but it is what it is. That's definitely causing him to have his nervous break. Apparently, also, it is stepfather abusing him. I mean, like, he does not have a good sadly. It opened up with him trying to drown himself, it seemed. So, I knew we were going dark. Um, I would give this, once again, a 9. Guys, please like the video. Please share the video. Once again, just in case everybody doesn't know, if the views aren't viewing, the likes aren't liking, the comments are not commenting, this show might not make it again. Um, but, so I really, it really depends on everybody on the platform, because the platform is what helps drive uh, my reactions. So, definitely let me know exactly what you guys feel, and I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully with more The Crowded Room. Bye.